welcome to this week's episode of What the Heck Do You Do? A weekly podcast where we highlight business owners doing unique and unusual things. Uh, this week's sponsors are Angela Probst with Young Living and Rich Rhodes with New York Life. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a weekly sponsor or if you're interested in coming on the show, uh, just send me an email at richroads at gmail.com and we will get you all set up. Uh, so I want to introduce this week's guest. Uh, this is Angela Probst with Young Living. How hey, are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Happy Halloween. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we uh, we contemplated costumes. We ultimately uh, we ultimately went against it. I guess I have like my Mr. Rogers sweater on today. But, you look great. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Likewise. So you're much warmer than, than the costume that you showed me. So. Uh, All right. Um, so Angela, we want to find out what the heck do you do? So go ahead and give us a little... Yeah, well, thank you. Teaser. First of all, thank you for having me here. This is really awesome that you serve and give back and just learn about people and, and that. So thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate that. And, you know, I own my own business as an essential oil educator with Young Living Essential Oils. So my passion really is just educating and teaching people how to live healthy, to be well, and to let them know that they can do it. And it's pretty simple and easy and very cost effective. Okay. So Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, tell us a little bit of how you how you got into it. So it was five years ago, almost five years ago. My uh, sister was using essential oils for headaches, and I had an injury in my foot. And I had been going to doctors, and the injury was an overuse injury from exercising too much. Okay. And my foot went from like normal essentially to I couldn't even walk. Really? It was crazy. So I go from exercising twice a day, I know it was excessive and not good, to not even be able to walk up the stairs in my house. Couldn't walk my dogs. My dogs are like my life. So it was huge, you know, debilitating, injury, painful. And I had gone to six different doctors. I went the Western medicine route because it was really all that I knew. And I had gone to like, you know, physical therapy. I had done... Um, chiropractic care I had done injections I had done the medications stretching taping like you name it like mm -hmm. I had done all the things okay. and my sister after doing some research she said hey I think you should try these oils and it was essential oils and you should put them on topically and I was like what I don't even understand I mm -hmm. didn't know what they were I didn't really get it and so I was like okay you know you're my sister you're my older sister you're kind of telling me what to do I'll do it but I started applying them topically and after about four to six weeks, I started feeling better. I was gradually starting to walk my dogs again. And I was getting, I mean, it was really, really good. 75% better where with the doctors and the medications and things that I had tried, I would maybe got 40 or 50% better. But I was dealing with side effects of the medication and stuff like that. So it just didn't feel worth it. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this is amazing. So morning and night, I had four different oils that I applied topically on my foot. And it just got better and better and better. Now today, I mean, a few years later, I can actually go running, I can exercise, and my foot feels great. It's just like my mind was blown. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is unbelievable. And, and when I hear, usually everyone in, in these wellness fields, right, has that story where mm -hmm. they became a believer. For sure. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. So no... No lingering issues at this point. It's like no. you never had a, a chronic foot injury, essentially. Right. Totally normal. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I go run stairs at Stadium High School, and I'm good. Yeah. Um, so, you know, stairs, running wherever, and it's totally normal. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, maybe talk a little bit about sort of your mental state as you were going through that and just maybe mm -hmm. some of the frustrations or w what feelings were you feeling as you were kind of trying and failing? Yeah, I mean, I was depressed. It was a very difficult to be in my early 30s. And, like, I mean, literally I couldn't even stand up straight because, you know, once you have a foot issue, you're off balance, started affecting my knees, my hips, and my back. So mm -hmm. it was just this whole alignment, you know. And I was very depressed. I couldn't walk my dogs. My dogs, as I mentioned, are my life. I don't have children. They're my kids. And I was just like, wow, there's got to be more than this, you know. And it was, it was just crazy how I felt so sad and so, you know, just depressed because I couldn't really live my life. Right. So, yeah. 
Well, it's good. It's good to see you beyond that. I think yes, most of you. us that have met you in the last year or so would say that you're certainly one of the more upbeat, positive people. So it's cool. it's hard for me to picture that, but yeah, I think that's that's the burden that comes with chronic pain, mm -hmm. right? It's, Absolutely. I mean, it literally can affect everything. Everything, yeah. So. It, it affects everything else, you know, physically, but also the emotions. It's it's kind of like this downward spiral. Once you start dealing with one thing, it affects the other, and, and then it's just kind of like this, you know, it keeps getting worse and worse type of yeah. effect. Right. So. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. there's plenty of people out there that can relate to that. So, uh, so four to six weeks, maybe early on, you're kind of like, all right, sis, I'm doing this for you. Is that, <laughs> yeah, is that fair? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll keep doing it, but I'm not believing calling her up and telling her. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's kind of getting better. Like, and I was so skeptical that I was just like, it's kind of getting better. And I didn't really like believe it, I guess, in the beginning, you'd say. But I'm like, okay, I can walk up the stairs today because I live in a three-story condo. Okay. So it's kind of important that I can walk up the stairs. That's the basic that I was testing every day, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it really started getting a lot better so it was amazing <laughs> curious uh so were you actively treating with a doctor at that point or were you no. kind of on a permanent regimen at that point that's a great question so the doctors had eventually like they had asked me okay well what relief are you getting how much better are you getting and they're like there's really nothing else we can do for you unless you want to sign up for the surgery and it was very high risk and low success because they didn't really know what was going on. I had received different diagnoses and mm -hmm. doctors didn't necessarily agree. So I was like, uh, okay, I don't think I really want to do that. Right. You know, because I had knew of a friend. I only knew one other person that had had that surgery and she had a lot of complications because of it. And so I was just like, no, I don't think I'm going to sign up for that. So they're like, okay, good luck. And they like just sent me away. Uh -huh. So I was literally huh. like, okay, kind of left out on the street corner crying like literally cried right. for a couple days and then i was like all right well i better figure out something yeah and then that's when my sister kind of came in and saved the day <laughs> yeah so i'm forever grateful for her now obviously yeah but, yeah even at the time i was super skeptical though yeah it, it's so. it's unfortunate that i think in a lot of cases right it's sort of that last resort mm -hmm. when uh, people turn to these natural remedies yeah. just because i don't know if that's a societal thing or what it is but it's a shame that it's last resort. Why not be first resort, right? Like, right. why not? Yeah. It's usually not too, right? Go ahead. Absolutely. No. I was going to say, you know, I totally agree with you. I always kind of thought of myself as like healthy, natural, a little bit crunchy. Um, but I was just kind of ignorant to it. I, I really didn't even know. So once I started educating myself and learning, I'm like, wow, everybody needs to know about this, mm -hmm. you know, because it, for somebody who thought that I was healthy, and always tried the non-medicine route first when I knew of it. I was like, oh, okay, there is something. I can just help people and teach them right. thing. So Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a good segue. So so your sister connects you with was it Young Living, different company? Yep. No, it was Young Living. Okay. She had done many hours of research comparing all the companies and she'd said, Hey, I've done the research, this is what you should do, this is the best company, and kind of shared with me why. And so I, at first, was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm using the product. She had helped me get it and stuff. And Young Living is a referral company. So I was, at the beginning, like, oh, okay, well, I'll use the product. But I didn't want to sell it. And so I was like, I'm just going to get the product for myself. So I set up my own wholesale account. Okay. And it said that, you know, I'm not going to sell it or anything like that, which that's not required. So there was no big deal. She doesn't sell it. Mm -hmm. She still doesn't today. Um, or, you know, teach or anything, treat it as a business. And so I was just starting using the product. And the first thing that I did after I bought my little starter pack of my own was I started learning about oils for sleep. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. And that, that was really kind of what started things for me. But I was just naturally learning mm -hmm. for myself and seeing that, wow, there's so much that you can do with essential oils. So many places you can go, things that you can deal with and address. So that's kind of where I started actually using them type okay. of thing. And, and so. what were you doing for work at the time? Um, I was a, a clinical technician. I had to think, what was the year that I did that? <laughs> that's my hesitation. I was a clinical technician with uh, Boston Scientific, working with patients who actually had chronic low back and leg pain. 
Interesting. So okay. Yeah. So so in the medicine field. Yes. When you for first sure. try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yep. you set up the wholesale account just to kind of take care of yourself. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Find products for myself, and after I had been using them for a few months, I actually had some friends who saw me go from the you know okay I'm exercising all the time, not uh, being able to walk to now I can walk again. And so they were asking me, well, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And I just referred them and told them, oh, you can get the oils yourself too. And then I had a friend teach a class for me. Um, and she was, she taught and then I had like 12 people on my team and I got a paycheck. And I was like, wait, what? Uh -huh. okay. And so at that point I really didn't understand it, but I got a paycheck. And so I was <laughs> like, wait, what if I put some effort into this and educating and teaching people that there's a better way? Yeah. And that's really how the business part started for me. Okay. So, um, in the beginning I was completely turned off by it because it's network marketing and I had misconceptions myself. Sure. Um, but after a while I'm like, wait a minute, this is really cool. Like, it's super easy. I'm just talking, sharing, and educating, and people want better options. Yeah. You know, they, they want things where they don't have to deal with side effects and medications and, and stuff like that. So um, it was it just happened naturally, really. Right. Okay. So. so you do the party, you get some people signing up, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, okay. Yeah. And that's really kind of how my passion started for teaching other people. First of all, you know, I, I taught myself uh -huh. and then people asked and I thought, wow, this is really, really nice. And if I just put some effort in and now I teach tons of classes and all kinds of different topics from the basics to chemical free living, okay. oils and babies, okay. I mean, all kinds of things, balancing hormones for both men and women. That's a huge challenge in today's society that people um, don't know what to do about or they're kind of getting led down different challenging paths with Western medicine. So it's it's a good thing to be able to teach people and educate them. Very rewarding. Yeah. So and, and empowering. No, that's awesome. Um, I, I feel similarly, so I think I had some of the same sort of mis you know, misconceptions about multi level marketing or networking or referral, you know, all those types of organizations. Right. Um, but now that I do what I do it's it's similar in that my goal is to educate you mm -hmm. on right your finances yeah. on protecting your family all those types of things right and then at times the logical next step is well then I want to do something right but it's education first and it's because the products can be difficult to understand the climate can be difficult to understand mm -hmm. and so I think that's it's not because I, I think the misconception for multi-level marketing is it's like it's a scam or pyramid scheme yeah I hear that one sometimes but, yeah but it's the exact opposite. It's like we're dedicating as many resources as we can to educating about our product so that it's mm -hmm. not a scam, so that you actually get the knowledge that you need because it's not widely accepted, right? Right. There's still plenty of, you know, cynics out there, I'm sure, who are thinking like, oh, that's not going to work, right? Right. Now, I can't just for put sure. oil on my foot for a month and a half and all of a sudden yeah. it's going to feel better. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think it's it's the exact opposite. Like the company's willing to invest in all these people to like get the word out and educate about the product so you can make a good decision. Mm -hmm. And so that that for me, I know it, it, I turned a corner there mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sure you're still helping people turn that corner. Right? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's funny that you bring that up. Um, where the skeptics and stuff and I just yesterday had somebody messaging me that was starting to use oils and she was telling me how well they were working and she said but my aunt's friend said that it's just placebo effect and one of my passions is teaching the proper use of using young living oils on dogs and animals mm -hmm. and so I told her I said so ask her how do essential oils work really well on dogs and babies and she was like speechless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, because they don't have placebo. Like, they can't be like, oh, this is working. Like, right. I don't think their brains work that way. But not that I'm aware of. So we kind of laughed about it. But um, there are a lot of people who think that. But whether you believe they work or you believe they don't, they work. You know? Yeah. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> but. Well, and I think the mind is such a powerful part of healing, too, that mm -hmm. even if there is a little bit of a, an emotional, I believe this is going to work, and it For actually sure. helps your brain work. The right. brain is very powerful. Yeah. We can choose to think or feel what we want to and get to a different place. Yeah. Very much so. I totally believe that. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yes.
<laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so talk more about um, seminars, trainings, you know, how often are you doing those? Where are you doing those? How do people learn about those? Absolutely. So we have all kinds of different topics. <clears throat> Every quarter, I have a really big one actually coming up this Saturday. I have, it's called a, a rally where we get together in a large location. This one's going to be our biggest one. It's at the Star Center in Tacoma, and we have 268 people coming. Okay. So those are paid attendees. And so they come. We have product education. We have food, drinks, um, vendors who sell essential oil products like jewelry or shelves, that type of thing. Okay. So it's this huge oily party is what we call it. And we just have a ton of fun. We have raffles and giveaways. We're doing a food drive this time. So that's one of the things that we do quarterly at a large location like that. And it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I do the smaller classes as well. So I do classes or open houses at my house or sometimes people host them or at a massage therapy clinic. So there are a variety of different places all around the area. So anybody can host if they want to, or they can just attend one that I have that's a, a public event. Some people will host a private one in their home, sure. um, and that's a way that they can get their oils paid for. So right. that's why a lot of people do that. But gosh, different topics uh, covering animals, babies, and just kind of general stuff. Mm -hmm. So that we do like general question and answer, proper use, introduction, um, wide variety. It's kind of the topics are endless. Chem chemical free um, cleaning in the home is a big topic that a lot of people like to know about because even organic cleaners have products in them that are concerning. Right. And so people want to be educated on that and know, and it can be very cost effective to use, I mean, essential oils, it's like a plant, you know, and a little bit goes a long way when it's pure. Uh -huh. So it's a great way to just show people and help educate them. That's one of the most cost effective things to um, switch to be healthy and, and clean. Interesting. Uh, so is that essential oils plus water plus a couple mm -hmm. ingredients? Yep, you can mix water, vinegar. Uh, that type of thing is okay. the, the most common. Baking soda is really good to mix with them and um, a great cleaning um, agent. So, gotcha. And yeah. so do most people sort of make it, put it into an empty so we have spray a, bottle, and then you're ready mm -hmm. to go? We have a few different ways. So you can make your own, or we have a, a concentrate that already has a few different oils mixed in with it that you then okay. mix with water, depending on how you want it. So like a glass cleaner, all surface cleaner, heavy duty cleaner, that mm -hmm. type of thing. So that's one route that people can go that's uh -huh. a really cost effective. Or they can get, you know, pine essential oil, lemon essential oil, and make their own blends type of thing as, as well. Gotcha. So, and that's literally kind of like you said, it's a spray bottle um, creating the scent that they want that's going to be a nice, clean, fresh scent, but it also disinfects Interesting. and cleans the surfaces. Wow. So, yeah. Very cool. Uh, the event at Star Center on Saturday, is yeah. registration still open for that? Or? We have a few spots left, yeah. Okay. So we can I'll, hold. I'll, let, I'll let you tell that towards the camera, so yeah. let, let everybody know. Yeah. What. So at the Star Center, the oily uh, party or rally that we're doing is this Saturday from 10 to 12.30. Tickets are $25, and uh, you can reach out to me to get that information at 253-278-1599. There are literally, last I checked was last night, um, there were 20 tickets left. So 20 tickets, okay. Don't wait. We do expect it to sell out. <laughs> awesome. So. Yeah. Um, okay, and you said that there's um, just a variety of different vendors, and, and you mentioned a couple. Um, do you, um, that's fascinating to me. So you, I think you said jewelry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does that look like? So different types of jewelry, so like bracelets or earrings you can put, uh, or necklaces, you can put essential oils on them. So they have like special stones uh -huh. and it acts as a diffuser as you're wearing it. So it's a nice way to have oils. You can also put them on your skin, but it's kind of fun to have jewelry. And even like leather earrings or um, necklaces that have leather on them, even bracelets, is a great way you can put oils on there so that you can then smell it throughout the day. Some of it gets on your skin, so you get it absorbed into your body as well. It's a great way to get that benefit. Huh. So, Interesting. Kind of cool. Yeah. So what is your, uh, what's your daily regimen look like? Oh, gosh. Um, it's in the morning. First thing I do is I get up and I uh, put on different oils. Um, I have probably 10 or 12 that are in little rollers that I apply okay, on so either my feet or most of them on my feet. Um, the feet are a great place to apply oils and get them absorbed into our body because the skin is thick but very porous. Uh -huh. So it gets into our bloodstream pretty quickly there. Um, I have one that I wear for perfume. And then I do the, use the, one of the hormone balancing oils as well. So I apply that. 
and literally everything I do is oils. So we have an essential oil infused immune drink that I have before breakfast. Um, the toothpaste that I use has essential oils infused into it. Um, I mean, the shampoo, the body wash, literally everything. So um, from the time I get up, I'm oiling all day long. Interesting. And that, yeah. Okay. But um, then after I um, have applied all those oils, I do have one that I apply that I say a positive affirmation with. It's called Abundance. Okay. And so I say affirmations with that. And then when I'm leaving home, I turn on my diffusers for my dogs. So my dog's favorite oils are frankincense, peace and calming, or stress away. So I do some combination usually of those um, so that they're good to go and relaxed for the day while they're home alone. Okay. And so. what kind of dogs are they? I have a chocolate lab. His uh -huh. name's Grizzly. Yep. He's Chewbacca for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And a golden retriever. His name is Ben, and he's a garbage man for Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah? Nice. That's awesome. So, yeah. Um, so what do you notice, uh, I guess, with them? Because I think that's interesting, too, that, you know, using it on pets. So Absolutely. What differences have you seen? Yeah. So Gr um, Grizzly, he's older. He's 12, and he has arthritis. So I use essential oil infused CBD internally for him to help with his joints. And then also topically, frankincense and uh, copaiba are great for his joints. So I'll put those, and technically I use them in, he gets a little bit in his food too. So internally healing from the inside out and then the outside in, and he walks so much better and a little further. My vet doesn't want me to push him too far, so I don't go for long walks with him like I used to, but he's able to walk around the neighborhood a lot better when he has his uh, oils and that. And then my golden retriever, Ben, um, they're both rescues. Ben came from a situation where he was locked in a garage and in a dog kennel, and so he had separation anxiety and lots of issues that came with that, and frankincense is really the one that broke the barrier on that. So that's like his go-to. Literally, when I take either frankincense or peace and calming, put it in my hand and rub my hands together, he literally lays down and rolls over so I can rub his belly. He huh. loves it. Yeah. Loves it. So Must be the placebo effect, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> he's, he's telling himself, ah, this stuff doesn't work, but mom likes to do it, so I'll just let her. Right? I'll just yeah. take the belly rubs. Yeah. So, yeah, he loves it. It's, it's crazy. And I'll tell you about the time when he, uh, I discovered that it was really good for him. I was sitting and reading. It was about Christmas time, so about this time, and I lived downtown Puyallup. So okay. we were close enough to the fairgrounds that I could hear the fireworks, and they were having their Christmas event, mm -hmm. and they had fireworks. And I was hearing the fireworks. He'd been as normally terrified of noises, and he was sleeping through the fireworks. And I'm like, I know he can hear better than me. Yeah. So why is he not waking up? Why is he not freaking out? And I just kind of sat there and, and listened. And at the grand finale, when it gets really loud, he woke up, but he didn't freak out. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I wonder what this is. Like, what's going on? And... I started kind of paying attention. Okay, what's different than normal? The only thing I could think of was that I had frankincense in the diffuser. Uh -huh. And so I started playing with it, researching it, reading about it, and it's very calming and grounding. So I thought, okay, I'm going to start using this and see what it's like for him. And now it's one of his favorites. Literally, I diffuse it every day. I apply it to his, his fur topically, and it's crazy, the difference in him. Like, literally, he used to dig through the carpet, the drywall, and now he's good. Like, he would force himself out the door with me, like, mm -hmm. between me and the door frame, and now he lays at the top of the stairs and waits for me. He's like, peace out, Mom. I'll be here when you get back. Huh. <laughs> so, massive difference in my dog because of that. So, wow. Yeah. We always, we call it Frank for short, so I'm like, we love Frank around our house. We love Frank, all right. <laughs> We Frank all the things. <laughs> Interesting. So. Yeah. I've, I've got a dog who's, she's fairly calm. She certainly gets excited, like, when mm -hmm. she sees other dogs and stuff like that. And you can tell she definitely has anxiety and kind of follows me everywhere. Really? Everywhere I go. So that's, yeah. Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, she's a Dane Mastiff mix. Oh, a big yeah. one. Holy cow. Yeah, she's about 100 pounds. Oh, okay. So her name's Eleanor Roosevelt. That's awesome. Because it's a great pun, so we had to go with it. <laughs> I um, love it. Yeah, so call her Ellie for short. But yeah. Um, yeah, like when it's home alone and it's quiet, then she's a great dog. But yeah, like if, if I'm getting ready to leave, then she's up and wondering where I'm going and tries mm -hmm. to leave with me and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's, I have, wow. to, I have to give that a try. Yeah, it's amazing. So his favorite blend is the frankincense combined with the peace and calming, typically. Okay. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a variety of different products that are available, which I, I think is important 
to me that that's a great point because I know also with wellness regimens, the first some one of the first things people think about is sort of added cost mm -hmm. to their things they already buy, right? For sure. You have to buy toothpaste, you have to buy soap, right? You have certain things you buy that are always in the house. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe sometimes that's sort of an initial reaction, but knowing that there's replacement type things, right? Correct. Yes. That you can get essential oils in your life yeah. without necessarily added cost, I think is, is interesting and a, and For a good sure. way to think about it. And that's one of my biggest passions of things to educate people on and teach them how to do that, you know, depending on what their goals are and, and what they want to do and explaining to them the importance. So like just giving you an example, uh, lavender. It, with Young Living is twenty dollars a bottle for a whole when you buy wholesale, and you can go to Amazon or wherever and get lavender for five dollars. Well, that lavender probably has chem chemicals and synthetics added to it, and it definitely is diluted, so it's not as pure. It takes a lot more of that if it works for you um, and gives you the results. Then it takes a lot more to get those results. Mm -hmm. So with ours, it's usually one or two drops. So a bottle that costs $20 lasts a lot longer and goes a lot further. Right. So that's part of the education for people and helping them to see and understand that. So they're investing more per bottle than they would a different essential oil somewhere else. But it's really great to be able to see, oh my gosh, yeah, it really lasts for months yeah. type of thing. So, and then they're supporting their wellness and where a lot of other things that they might be using that have chemicals in them, you know, products that they buy at the grocery store or buy online, it can actually cause them to get sick, causes respiratory issues, or a lot of things are linked to cancer. And so either short-term or long-term, looking at, okay, what are my daily costs? And then what are my long-term costs? And it's like a no-brainer once yeah. they really sit down and look at it right? type of thing. Yeah, no, I think that makes good sense. And analogy for me is sort of like investing in, like a company investing in their employees, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, it's going to cost money to provide additional benefits. But what do you get when those employees stay longer? Right. You don't have training costs. You don't have mm -hmm. turnover. You don't have customer service in you know issues because you have a young, inexperienced staff because you're constantly turning them over. Right. That those investments, mm -hmm. right? And so I think it, it feels that same way. You can invest a little and in essential oils regimen and live healthier, live longer, feel better. And what would that do when you go to work, right? Right. That might get you that million dollar deal because <laughs> there you're, you right? go. Because you're not yeah. thinking about your chronic pain and you're, right. you're feeling better. Yeah, you carry yourself different. You present yeah. yourself differently when you feel better. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's that's sort of a mind shift that people need to make versus like, oh, I'm sitting down with Angela, like, okay, my monthly expenses for you know, my wellness just went up, right? It's like adding that gym membership, you know? Oh, right. And it's just, I, I don't think it's that, but I think that's maybe a hurdle that, that mm -hmm. people continue to maybe battle. So, um, but I'm sure you help clear all that up when you sit down and, and meet with folks. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, so so what does it look like? So if somebody says, okay, you know, I want to learn more. What's, what's the best way to reach you? And, and sort of what is that initial kind of consultation, if you will, sort of look like? Absolutely. So there's a couple of ways. It depends if somebody wants one-on-one -on -one attention because they have specific goals that they want to meet or if they want to attend a class on a specific topic. Like in a couple of weeks, I have a class where we're talking about essential oils and emotions. And so that's a group event, obviously, where they'd come and learn about the benefits of oils and that. But if it's one-on-one -on -one type of situation, we can meet at a coffee shop and a lot of times I bring my nutrition scanner depending on what the person's goals are. And so literally it's a scanner that they hold in their hand and it gives recommendations and many times like mind blowing, it will give recommendations based on the things that they're looking for. So if they have respiratory issues, there's like four to six different oils they could start with. But if they scan for one of those in their scan, then oh, okay, let's start with this one because it's what your body is going to benefit from. So I sit down, I ask them questions, find out what their goals are, what they're currently doing, and then start helping them see what they can shift. And like I said, you know, okay, well, you're buying this, but you can replace it with a few drops of this oil okay. type of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and so that's really where the money savings comes in, and it's just shifting that. So that's really kind of the best way to get started with people. Um, but again, kind of depends on what their goals are. So either one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. Okay.
Yeah. How does how does the scanner work? Or I wish I wish I would have known this earlier. Would have, <laughs> we would have had it and could have done a quick little demo. Yeah, but. it's so. amazing. So it's kind of like our sports watches or a stress test. If you've ever gone to the hospital and had a stress test where they put the stickers on you and they're monitoring you, so it's literally got two little metal pieces and it's reading the impedances or the flow in our body mm -hmm. to see where our body might be off and then make recommendations for where we could be balanced or need to be balanced type of thing so it's literally amazing like I had a friend who was telling me about um, emotional issues that she was dealing with after her father's death and the number one oil that she scanned for was an emotional oil that helps with dealing that with that type of thing <laughs> and then another friend scanned for a supplement and I looked at her and I'm like, are you pregnant? She didn't know she was pregnant at the time. She found out two days later. <laughs> so she messaged me. She was like, this is all your fault. But, I mean, she was trying, so it was yeah. okay. But I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I didn't do that. <laughs> right. But like, I mean, I could give you examples all day long of the nutrition scanner coming up with stuff like that. And I'm just like, <gasps> over and over, mind blown. So wow. it's a pretty cool little device that really helps a lot of people figure out what to use for them. Because same thing, like a lot of Americans have digestive issues mm -hmm. and we have, I mean, probably 20 products that are digestive, su helping support or detox the gut, that kind of thing. It's like, okay, where do you start? Yeah. So it really helps narrow things down. That's awesome. Yeah. I think that's the perfect place to leave it. So uh, cool. so connect with Angela and get your nutritional scan and Absolutely. and go from there. That's That's pretty awesome. And some of those stories sort of reaffirming that it works i think is, is pretty amazing so yeah. awesome cool well, thanks so much for joining us today yeah thank you uh, i appreciate this, you this, having me here yeah this was super fun so thank you mm -hmm. uh thank you guys for tuning in as always uh next week coming up we've got uh barbara perry with need a break services uh so tune in next week to hear all about uh her and what she's got going on uh thank you guys so much happy halloween uh have a great day eat lots of candy and uh keep chasing your dreams thanks bye, bye guys